Hello, uh, welcome to this new course uh, on mass transistors. Uh, so my name is Dr. Vinayak Pachkode. I'm the founder and director of V Pachkode Research Center. So we are specialized in uh, training uh, courses, R&D, product development in uh, nanotechnology and microelectronics. I'm also a senior member of IEEE. Uh, this is our website. So let's start with this uh, course and have understand the details of the uh, basics. So to start with, uh, what is a MOS? So uh, MOS stands for metal oxide semiconductor. So here is the full form, metal oxide semiconductor. You can see in the right picture, uh, there is a silicon substrate on the, which is also called as a body of the transistor or body of a device. And on top of that, you have uh, these two uh, ports. Uh, one port is called as drain, second port is called as source, and then you have this oxide. And on top of oxide, you have a metal. So here is a combination, metal, oxide, and that's the semiconductor. So you see there is uh, this is a body and on top of it, you have N type of or P type of semiconductors. On top of the semiconductor, you have oxide, which is silicon dioxide or silicon nitride. And on top of that, you have a metal, which is uh, which can also be a polysilicon. So MOS transistor, it acts as a switch. We know that. And uh, I highly recommend you to review a course, my course on CMOS VLSI by Dr. Vinayak Pachkode. That's the title of the course. I will give you the link to this course in the description, check it out. And let us have a look of, uh, look at the MOS transistor symbol. So basically MOS, e, MOS transistor is an extension or the modification of the junction field effect transistor. So we know that field effect transistor, it operates by application of electric field and it's called a junction field effect transistor. There are two types of it, P channel and N channel. So you see there are symbols for a P channel transistor, the arrow points outward for the N channel transistor, the arrow point inwards. Now there are these three indication. D, D stands for drain, G stands for gate, S stands for source. Again, D stands for drain, G stands for gate, and S stands for source. So now uh, the focus of this course is to explain you the MOS theory, its fundamental, its operation, and the applications and the circuits based on that. So we'll talk about this part. So MOS stands for metal oxide semiconductor, as I told, and FET is the field effect transistor. So again, this is the full form of this MOSFET. There are two types, P channel and the N channel. So in the N channel, you will have two types again, enhancement mode and the depletion mode. We'll see that in detail as we move ahead in the next modules. So currently just remember MOSFET has two types, P channel and channel. And in each of these, you have again two types, enhancement and the depletion. So enhancement mode of the transistor symbol is pointing inwards. So as compared to the JFET, you still have drain, gate and the source, but there is an extra terminal here, which is uh, body. So here you see there are four terminals, body, drain, gate, and source. So similarly you have. So for the enhancement, the arrow points invert. Uh, for the depletion, uh, for the N-channel actually, N-channel transistor, the uh, arrow points inwards. And for the P-channel, arrow points outwards. So whenever you see this kind of symbol, say that, is a P-channel MOSFET. Whenever you see this kind of symbol, say that is an N-channel of MOSFET. So out of this, that could be enhancement mode or depletion mode, depending on the voltages applied. So we'll see that in detail next. 